10 Warning Signs of Low Oxygen in Your Blood Welcome to our video on 10 Signs of Low Oxygen Levels in the Blood. Have you ever felt sure of breath or experienced fatigue even after a good night's sleep? Well, it could be a sign that your blood is not carrying enough oxygen to your body's tissues. In this video, we will explore 10 common symptoms that indicate a low level of oxygen in your blood. So, let's dive into the world of oxygen and its crucial role in our bodies. Just a quick reminder, this video is for educational purposes only, so speak to your doctor if you have any medical concerns. 1. Shortness of breath Have you ever felt like you just can't catch your breath, even though you're not exerting yourself? Maybe you were sitting down, relaxing, but it felt like you just ran a marathon. It's a scary and uncomfortable feeling, but it's not uncommon. This sensation of shortness of breath, medically known as dyspnea, can occur for a variety of reasons. However, one of the most common causes is low oxygen levels in the blood. Before we dive into why low oxygen levels cause shortness of breath, Let's first understand how the body regulates oxygen levels. The body's main respiratory organ is the lungs. The lungs are responsible for taking in oxygen and releasing carbon dioxide, a waste product of metabolism. Oxygen enters the lungs and diffuses into the bloodstream, where it binds to hemoglobin, a protein in red blood cells. The hemoglobin then transports the oxygen to the body's tissues and organs where it's used for energy production. When oxygen levels in the blood drop, the body tries to compensate by increasing breathing rate and depth. This response is triggered by specialized cells in the arteries that detect low oxygen levels. The cells send signals to the brain, which then sends signals to the respiratory muscles to increase breathing. The increased breathing helps to bring more oxygen into the lungs which in turn increases the amount of oxygen that can bind to hemoglobin and be transported to the tissues. However, if oxygen levels continue to drop, the body's compensatory mechanisms may not be enough to maintain adequate oxygenation. This is when the sensation of shortness of breath can occur. When oxygen levels are low, the body perceives a sense of suffocation, which triggers a feeling of breathlessness. It's as if your body is telling you to breathe more deeply and more frequently to try to get more oxygen into your lungs. Additionally, when oxygen levels are low, the body may start to produce more carbon dioxide than it can eliminate. This buildup of carbon dioxide can also contribute to the sensation of shortness of breath. The body has specialized receptors in the brain that detect changes in carbon dioxide levels. When carbon dioxide levels increase, these receptors send signals to the respiratory muscles to increase breathing rate and depth to eliminate the excess carbon dioxide. If you're finding this information helpful, please take a moment to hit the like button, subscribe and turn on notifications to stay updated with our latest health and nutrition videos. 2. Rapid Breathing When oxygen levels in the blood drop, the body's natural response is to increase breathing rate and depth in an attempt to bring in more oxygen. This increased breathing rate is known as hyperventilation, and it's a common symptom of low oxygen levels in the blood. Hyperventilation can be a helpful response in some situations, such as during exercise when the body needs more oxygen to fuel physical activity. However, when hyperventilation occurs in response to low oxygen levels, it can actually make the situation worse. This is because hyperventilation can cause the body to lose too much carbon dioxide, which can further decrease oxygen delivery to the tissues. The reason why hyperventilation occurs in response to low oxygen levels is due to the body's respiratory control system. This system is located in the brainstem and regulates breathing rate and depth based on input from various sensors in the body such as the ones that detect oxygen and carbon dioxide levels. When oxygen levels in the blood drop, the sensors that detect oxygen levels send signals to the respiratory control system indicating that more oxygen is needed. The respiratory control system responds by increasing breathing rate and depth to try to bring in more oxygen. 
However, if the oxygen levels continue to drop, the respiratory control system can become overactive and cause hyperventilation. Hyperventilation can cause a variety of symptoms such as dizziness, lightheadedness, tingling in the fingers and around the mouth, and even fainting in severe cases. It's important to seek medical attention if you experience these symptoms, as they can be a sign of a more serious underlying condition. 3. Wheezing Wheezing is a common symptom that can occur when there are low oxygen levels in the blood. Wheezing is a high-pitched whistling sound that occurs when air flows through narrowed airways. It's often associated with respiratory conditions such as asthma and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, but it can also occur in response to low oxygen levels. When oxygen levels in the blood drop, the body's respiratory system tries to compensate by increasing breathing rate and depth, as we discussed earlier. However, in some cases, the body may respond to low oxygen levels by narrowing the airways. This can occur for several reasons. One reason is that when oxygen levels are low, the body may produce substances that cause the airways to constrict. For example, the body may produce histamine, a chemical that's involved in the immune response and can cause the airways to narrow. This is a common response in people with asthma or allergies, who may experience wheezing as a result of exposure to allergens or other triggers. Another reason why low oxygen levels can cause wheezing is that the airways themselves may become inflamed or narrowed due to the low oxygen levels. This can occur in people with lung diseases such as COPD, who may already have inflamed airways that are more susceptible to narrowing in response to low oxygen levels. Wheezing can be a serious symptom, particularly if it's accompanied by shortness of breath or difficulty breathing. 4. Confusion Confusion can be another symptom that occurs in response to low oxygen levels in the blood. When the brain doesn't get enough oxygen, it can't function properly, which can lead to confusion and other cognitive problems. The brain is one of the most oxygen-dependent organs in the body and it requires a constant supply of oxygen to function properly. When oxygen levels in the blood drop, the brain may not receive enough oxygen to meet its needs, which can cause cognitive problems such as confusion. Low oxygen levels in the blood can occur for several reasons, including respiratory conditions such as pneumonia or acute respiratory distress syndrome, ARDS, which can interfere with oxygen uptake in the lungs. In addition, conditions that affect the heart or circulatory system, such as heart failure or shock, can also lead to low oxygen levels in the blood. In some cases, confusion may be the first symptom of low oxygen levels, particularly in elderly patients or those with pre-existing cognitive impairment. Confusion can also be accompanied by other symptoms such as shortness of breath, rapid breathing, and a rapid heart rate. 5. Headache When our bodies experience low levels of oxygen, it can result in a common symptom known as a headache. Headaches occur for a variety of reasons, including changes in blood flow and inflammation. However, one of the primary causes of headaches is a lack of oxygen to the brain. When there is insufficient oxygen in the blood, the brain is not able to function properly, which can result in a headache. When oxygen levels in the blood drop, the brain may not receive enough oxygen to meet its needs, which can cause pain and discomfort in the form of a headache. Interestingly, headaches can also be a symptom of high-altitude sickness, which occurs when people ascend to high altitudes where the air is thinner and contains less oxygen. In this case, the lack of oxygen can cause headaches and other symptoms such as fatigue, dizziness, and shortness of breath. 6. Blue-tinted skin or lips Blue-tinted skin or lips is a medical condition known as cyanosis. It occurs when there is a lack of oxygen in the blood, causing the skin and lips to turn blue or purple in color. When the body's tissues are not receiving enough oxygen, the body compensates by redirecting the oxygen-rich blood to the vital organs, such as the brain and heart, 
and away from the skin and other non-vital organs. This redirection of blood can cause the skin and lips to appear blue, indicating that there is not enough oxygen reaching these areas. Cyanosis can be caused by a variety of conditions, including respiratory and circulatory problems. Cyanosis can also be caused by exposure to cold temperatures or high altitudes, where there is a decreased availability of oxygen in the air. In these situations, the body may not be able to take in enough oxygen to meet its needs, leading to a lack of oxygen in the blood and cyanosis. 7. Chest Pain Chest pain is a common symptom that can be caused by a variety of conditions, including heart problems, respiratory issues, and gastrointestinal problems. However, one of the primary causes of chest pain is a lack of oxygen to the heart muscle, a condition known as angina. Angina occurs when the coronary arteries that supply blood to the heart muscle become narrowed or blocked, reducing blood flow to the heart. This reduced blood flow can cause chest pain or discomfort, often described as a tightness, pressure, or squeezing sensation in the chest. Angina is typically triggered by physical activity or emotional stress, which increases the heart's demand for oxygen. When there is not enough oxygen available, the heart muscle may not function properly, leading to chest pain. Angina can be a sign of underlying heart disease, such as coronary artery disease, which is caused by a buildup of plaque in the arteries that supply blood to the heart. Other risk factors for heart disease include high blood pressure, high cholesterol, smoking, and diabetes. It's important to note that chest pain can also be a symptom of other serious medical conditions, including heart attack and pulmonary embolism, so it's important to seek medical attention if you experience chest pain or discomfort, particularly if it is accompanied by other symptoms such as shortness of breath, nausea, or dizziness. 8. Fatigue. Fatigue is a feeling of tiredness, weakness, or exhaustion that can be caused by a variety of factors, including physical, psychological, and lifestyle factors. One of the primary causes of fatigue is a lack of oxygen to the body's tissues. When there is not enough oxygen in the blood, the body may not be able to perform its normal functions, leading to feelings of fatigue and weakness. Other factors that can contribute to fatigue include poor sleep, stress, depression, and anxiety. These psychological factors can affect the body's hormonal balance, leading to feelings of tiredness and weakness. In addition, lifestyle factors such as poor nutrition, lack of exercise, and dehydration can also contribute to fatigue. When the body is not properly fueled and hydrated, it may not have the energy it needs to perform its normal functions, leading to feelings of tiredness and exhaustion. Fatigue can also be a side effect of certain medications, including antidepressants, antihistamines, and sedatives. 9. Dizziness Dizziness is a feeling of lightheadedness, unsteadiness, or a spinning sensation that can be caused by a variety of factors including low levels of oxygen in the blood. When there is not enough oxygen in the blood, the brain may not receive the amount of oxygen it needs to function properly. This can lead to dizziness or a feeling of lightheadedness. Other factors that can contribute to dizziness include low blood pressure, dehydration, anemia, and certain medications such as blood pressure medications or sedatives. If you are experiencing dizziness, it's important to identify the underlying cause so that it can be treated appropriately. This may involve lifestyle changes such as staying hydrated or getting more rest, or it may involve medical treatment for underlying conditions such as respiratory or heart problems. 10. Sweating Sweating is a common symptom that can occur when there is a low level of oxygen in the blood. This is because the body's natural response to low oxygen levels is to increase blood flow and oxygen delivery to the tissues, which can cause sweating. Hyperventilation is an attempt to increase oxygen intake. This increased breathing rate can also cause sweating as the body works to cool itself down. 
Other factors that can contribute to sweating include anxiety, stress, and certain medications such as blood pressure medications or antidepressants. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you're experiencing any of the 10 signs we discussed today, it's important to seek medical attention right away. Low levels of oxygen in the blood can have serious consequences, but with prompt treatment, you can get back to feeling your best. Take care of yourselves, and we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.